welcome. This is your five minute geography lesson. We're covering theme five, element 14, small scale ecosystems. I stood the front, thank you. I'm Mr. S and I'll be your five minute teacher. We've talked previously about global scales of ecosystems, which we call biomes, but ecosystems can exist at a much smaller scale too, such as hedgerows, or in the example that we're going to look at today, dunes. So a sand dune is a buildup of sand around vegetation. It requires two main factors. We need loose sand, which we find at the beach, and we need a prevailing wind that blows on shore, which we also find at the beach. They're formed through a process known as succession, which we've already covered in a past lesson. So as the plants die, these pioneers, these really hardy plants, it creates a better quality soil, which allows more fragile plants to take hold. So let's have a look at what this looks like in a sand dune. So we've got a diagram here that represents the different stages of the sand dune's life. We've got right by the ocean, an embryo dune and a fore dune. These are the newest developments in the ecosystem. So the embryo dune are the smallest dunes that you'll find. They were usually right beside the sea. As the wind blows the sand up, the sand gets caught by small bits of vegetation, usually the toughest but sparsest amount of grass that you'd find. So it's like this spiky vegetation that's called sand rocket. So you'll see more sand than you will vegetation at this point. We then have four dunes. Now we're going to see a bit more in the way of this pioneer, the spiky grass developing, which means that more sand starts to collect around it. So the dune's going to start to develop in height at this point. It also means that as more vegetation comes in, as it starts to die, it's going to start putting those nutrients into the soil, which makes it a bit more desirable to the less hardy plants. So now we're going to come up to the yellow dunes. So at this point, we're going to start to see more of the surface of the sand dune covered by vegetation. So it can be up to 80% of the sand dune now covered by some form of plant life. And you can see it's still grown taller because it's still being carried, so they're still being supplied with sand, which has been carried by that prevailing wind inland. And then we get to grey dunes. So we're now starting to get more static dunes. So these aren't going to really build up as much anymore, and they're not going to really um, have any sand visible. So the dunes are getting too big to the point where now this dune is going to start blocking the prevailing wind from reaching over here. And the types of vegetation we're going to get here, it's completely covered by vegetation. And that means that it's going to have quite a lot of nutrients being developed in it. So we're going to get some quite fragile in comparison to what we'd find over here. And probably more likely what we'd find inland from the sea. A slack dune has been completely cut off from the supply of wind and sand. By the big grey dune. In the dip it goes below the water table which means that water can seep up from the ground and often find surface water pooling there as well. And then finally we've got the mature dunes. These are what we'd call the climax community. So this is the vegetation that we'd expect to find in a temperate deciduous woodland which is what the UK is. So we're going to find some trees in there along with some natural vegetation for our area. So less grasses and more shrubs. Let's have a look at some examples of these then. So in the embryo dune and the fore dune, we're going to see this spiky grass. These are the pioneers, the sand rocket. But you can see in the picture itself, it's mostly sand with some sporadic, some small amount of grass. That This is where the sand is going to get trapped. As we move into the yellow and the grey dunes, you can see we've still got the grasses, but it's covering the majority of the area. You can still see some sand in places, but it's starting to sprawl out. And then when you get to the mature dune, you can see, you can just about see the, the dune there, it's covered in grass, but you can see a little bit of sand out the front here, but we've got trees. So these are our deciduous trees that we'd expect to find in a climax community for the UK. Well, that's it for today. Make a small change in your revision succession by completing the try it now task, class dismissed.